This is one of multiple videos showing you iOS commands that can save you a lot of time and optimize the way that you work with the Cisco CLI. Now here's some commands which you may find useful when troubleshooting hardware, specifically ASICs on switches. This kind of information is really useful if you have a requirement as an example for ASIC redundancy when using ether channels. It doesn't make sense that you have two ports in an ether channel, but they share the same ASIC. What happens if that ASIC goes down? You're gonna lose both ports anyway. So a switch, as an example, has ports that you connect cables to, but internally it has application-specific integrated circuits or ASICs used for hardware forwarding of traffic. In this example, I've connected to a 3750 switch. This is an older switch, so just bear that in mind when you compare it to modern switches. So show platform. We have the option to look at platform port manager information. And as an example, we could look at interface numbers. We can filter, or in this example, I'm simply gonna press enter. This shows me interface mappings to ASICs on a switch and port. So in this example, all ports are using ASIC zero. On other switches, you'll see different information. But as an example, on some switches, two ports will share a single ASIC. So this allows you, as an example, to see which ports are mapped to which ASIC. This command is on lower end platforms and there are similar commands that you can use on higher end switches. So platform block shows you once again, interfaces to ASICs. So in this example, all my ports are using ASIC zero. We can also use commands such as show platform port ASIC stats drop. And this shows me port ASIC port drop statistics. We can see the supervisor transmit queue drop statistics. And in this example, you can see that Q3, 8, and 10 are showing a lot of drops. We can see as an example, Q0, weight zero, weight one, and weight two drop statistics. And that continues for the various ports on the switch. We could see in queued packets as an example, and notice port three, port four, port seven are showing a high number of packets when compared to other ports on the switch. So just be aware that the show platform command, PM, and other related commands can help you work out which interfaces are mapped to which ASICs, which is again very useful if you have a requirement for ASIC redundancy when setting up ether channel. So again, show platform PM, IF numbers, or platform block, or other commands that you may find useful. Another ASIC related command is show platform. And in this example, we'll choose TCAM, utilization ASIC all. This allows us to see the TCAM utilization per allocation. So as an example, we've got IP version four unicast and directly connected routes. We've got max values and used values. We can see IP version 4 quality of service information, IGMP groups and multicast routes, and you'd also be able to see IP version 6 on a switch. This command can be useful if you're troubleshooting quality of service configuration. You may only have one ASIC on a switch, and you may end up having TCAM exhaustion on the switch. Notice on this switch, we're looking at the CAM utilization for ASIC is zero. 
don't forget to use the all keyword to see all ASICs and not only ASIC zero. The command show STM prefer shows you the STM template used. This is used essentially to control TCAM allocations to specific functions. In this example, it's set to desktop default, but you could change the preference used. So bias it towards unicast routing or bias it towards VLANs. If you do change the option, you need to reboot the switch to make it active. TCAM availability is limited, so you may want to wait TCAM utilization to a function such as routing, VLANs, quality of service, and so forth. And this allows you to do that, to change the weighting or bias to a function. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.